everyone, I'm back uh, with the second part of my sorting photo cards video. I just have a mosaics left. I think I might do this in a separate video from the rest because honestly there was so many cards. So yeah, depending on after editing how long the first video is, this might be a separate thing. Okay, let's jump to the mosaics section. So, honestly, collecting uh, monsters has been so, so fun. Um, I'm actually finished with a show news collection already. So that's so, so nice. I'm going to grab his card real quick. I don't think... They're not all here, but uh, yeah, I think by the time I do my next haul, I will have all his cards and uh, so now I can focus on Johan. Um, it's Fade of Love. So first, we've got two of his Fantasia cards. Mm, that's version one. And I'm aware it's mostly because I'm collecting some of the like, less popular members, at least on the Mercari Japan. But yeah, their cards are really cheap. Even like unit cards, they're really, really... And it's always like nice. Well, they're not really cheap. They're a normal photo card price, but because you know uh, my main collection is Luna, and Luna cards are always <laughs> super overpriced. Uh, everything feels uh, cheap in comparison. So yeah. Um, then we have Fade to Love. I'm going to just trust <laughs> what I mark. So that must be version 1, version 3, version 4. I'm only going by what I remember for the photo books. I do have quite a few uh, Johan cards too, but they arrived after I got this package, so yeah. He will, he will be a bit more in the next haul, which is uh, being consolidated as we are talking. So yeah, I should. This sleeve quality is just disgusting. We are going to... Okay. So now we move on to uh, One Who's Part 2. Uh, Love Synonym Part 2, right for us album. I forgot to sleeve this card. So these are the three cards that I pulled. For now I'm going to put him in here. Uh, in the middle. I joined a group order um, with the inclusions only option for his my music taste card so i should have two other of these photo cards and two my music taste card so uh once that arrives wait two i just need to find uh, two other cards i don't know if it makes sense but basically i'm just collecting a full nine page of his cards so 
I'll try to get the ones I really like uh, for the end. And um, since we have a lot of fillers, we are going to Okay, I, oh no, I forgot, I have those scratch cards and honestly I don't know what to do with them, so for now I'm going to slip them here, I don't think this is the right like version order but I don't really care. I will worry about that later. Okay, the next patch. <laughs> As I was uh, looking for uh, the Shaunu and Johan cards I wanted, I kept finding um, <laughs> unit cards. And honestly, I've mentioned it before, but I'm really a huge fan of unit cards. Like, yeah. And uh, honestly, Monster X's <laughs> unit cards are so, so like nice and fun. I've talked about it in the uh, Neo Kyo hall where I opened these, but uh, yeah. So, I decided to collect for each era where they did uh, unit cards, a full page of nine cards. So, let's start with the end actually. As you, <laughs> as you can see, I did quite a lot of planning for all that. I'm actually done with the Fantasia units. Uh, because I've got uh, quite a few here and I, uh, I just needed two to fill the page so I found them, they're at Miyokyo, they will be shipped out soon. So... Okay, so what I'm going to do, okay, first, uh, in the set I bought, uh, there was this card that I already have. I'm going to put it aside and I will try to trade or sell it. Uh, since this is the two biases, we will put it in the middle. Okay, then. Uh, okay, we were going to put the two Chengkyun cards side by side. Uh, same for the two. Okay, um, I'm going to do this like this for now. And uh, some white fillers. If I remember correctly, one of the cards I have on the way is Minyuk and Johan and the other card. I can't remember, but yeah. And then we have... Let's go back to the front. So these are the cards I actually pulled in my album. Um, so for the code, I bought this card. I basically... Basically there was someone on... Uh, Instagram that was selling a few unit cards uh, that I think they were selling their one collection or something and as soon as I saw this card I knew I had to have it it's just <laughs> I do it's just so so funny there are so many cards in this set that are just hilarious and it's you know there, first of all, there's a lot of cards. I don't remember how many there is, but like over 20, I think. Maybe even 30, yeah. And um, a lot of them are really funny. This one is like very classic, you know, it's just them posing for a picture. But there's a lot like <laughs> this one. Or there's a lot of uh, cards where they're like pretending to be fighting. Honestly, it's just hilarious. And this one... <laughs> It's just, uh, I don't know if I sound like, like an idiot, but uh, yeah, I just, 
find them very funny, you know, a group of very funny boys. Honestly, instant serotonin, but yeah. Okay, so I don't have any cards for the connect, but for are you there? I have this set of cards and they are honestly just perfection. So yeah, I've talked about it before, but there's something that I find really hilarious with these cards, especially this one. It really looks like he's photobombing them, but yeah. We are putting her in the middle. And yeah, I really love these two other cards too. I just love these cards and this card with Shonu with his arm, uh, arms out. Like, <laughs> it's just too funny. I don't know. And I guess the thing is with these cards is that there's, you know, a lot of unique cards and they, a few of them were like pre-order benefits. So if you like collect one uh, member and you really want like all his cards, it can be really annoying to like find the ones that you need, you know, once you have got, once you have found on almost all of the cards and you have uh, three or four, I think, or less, uh, yeah. I understand that people can get annoyed with these cards, but uh, that's why I'm just collecting a full page because that way I just grab what I see. And then I have these two cards. Uh, yeah, they were with the other card. Uh, the show new and one card, I bought it with the same person. And actually the letter arrived uh, right on Wono's birthday, so that's where that was really fun. Especially because they did the whole like mono uh, team the packaging with like little um, baby gum washi tape and uh, the little post-it note had him on it. And uh, yeah, really fitting that it arrived on his day. Okay, and that's it for the units. Now we have to reorganize this again. Uh, yeah, because in the sets I got, I got these two um, show new cards. I think the idea will be, hold on. I'm going to do a page for like fatal love infusions. So, Let's get everything out. We're going to put him in the middle because we don't have any other like similar cards. And um, we're going to do something that I think is a bit ugly, but it will do. There have been rumors of a one stakes come back. Honestly, I'm really, really excited. Fatal Love uh, was one of my favorite albums of 2020. So yeah, I really look forward to what they will do. Okay. We are going to leave this thing. I don't want to think about this part yet. I... It is very likely that I will collect like all the older cards at some point. So yeah, once I'm done with unit cards, you know. So then these are the special sets. So I'm going to put the 
Ici, c'est assez ton rire. Hum. I don't really like the cross pattern like this anymore. But for this, since there's the, you know, ID cap, I think that might be the best option. Oh. And then we are going to put the yellow set at the bottom and this set at the top oh, this card is just so so pretty honestly why is always the weather going terrible while i'm filming okay um i'm going to put some green fillers on this page too okay, that one's really not bad not bad i really like these cards yeah then for the bigger things I... <gasps> Yo, I forgot that I left all the big <laughs> things from one of, one of those album in my <laughs> in my albums, but we have uh, we have all of that. <laughs> uh, I'm never seeing the end of this. Um, okay, let's do things in order first. We are going to put all the comma and siesta things in one page. Oh, it just fits. As I mentioned, since uh, Johans got a bit damaged, they are in between, in between books right now. Hopefully it will flatten out. But uh, yeah, and um, I'm going to put it at the end. I will obviously put Joan up here next. We have also this Tower Records postcard. Basically, uh, I bought this big show new set and it included this. But um, <laughs> where am I going to put this? it fits in there yeah everybody close your eyes i'm just going to put it here and these bookmarks are cute but i really don't know what to do with this we are going to put the film cards thingies in there And uh, then we are going to put the stickers. Yeah, since the stickers are the same size, uh, we are going to put them in here too. I really like these ones. I really like this concept. I don't think the camera was focused, but yeah. And we will put this one here. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot that three pocket pages exist. <laughs> and for the bookmarks, what I will do is just Slip them in the back like this. 
yeah and those I'm going to put in a two pocket page okay this time I actually finally I'm done with sorting everything yo we live in a society huh we sure do uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching me <laughs> struggle uh, putting things in my binder uh, for uh, way too long, probably. Um, if you like this video, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a little thumbs up or a comment. And I, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you the next time. Bye. <laughs>